Hey, this is Christian with Collision Hub, and we're back at SEMA 2011 in Las Vegas. And one of the things that you notice when you walk the SEMA floor is some of the amazing refinishing that goes on here. Whether we're talking waterborne or solvent or from the OEM or from the customizing, some of these paint jobs are, are wonderful, and uh, they've got some great color and depth to them. But what do you do when you go home? Well, we obviously don't want to have a show car all the time, just put it in a garage and never use it. We like to enjoy them. But how do you protect that finish and keep it looking the best that you can for the entire life of the vehicle? And paint protection film is one of the easiest things that you can install on the car that's going to give you the most longevity of your refinish. And let's talk a little bit about the 3M paint protection system because I personally sure. use it on some of the show cars that we do and then on some of the work from the collision repair shop and just how easy it is. Tell me the history of paint protection film with 3M. Sure, uh, paint protection film, uh, 3M invented the product back in the 60s for the military to protect the leading edge of helicopter blades. It evolved beyond that into the automotive manufacturing industry, into the racing industry. Now, since the mid 90s, we've seen growing popularity in the aftermarket. It's just, uh, you know, with the refinishes coming from the OEMs, as they continue to challenge us a little bit, you know, from the shop environment on tones and depth, and, you know, we had some of the Starbursts come out about five years ago. Um, being able to protect that film from all different kinds, or the, the refinish from all different kinds of wear and tear, has been an amazing application for us. Now, 3M yep. makes applications for paint protection film, and we traditionally think of front, nose coverage. But I can really do a lot of stuff with paint protection, right? You can. You know, really, uh, wherever there's a square footage of paint, there's, there's you know, an opportunity to protect that area. So a lot of people have attributed this product to protecting the front end nose areas where the old vinyl bras may have gone. But really, uh, if it's painted and it moves, it can use it. And there's areas that people can protect, such as their door cups, their door edges, trunk ledges, common areas that are really protecting the vehicle even when it's not in motion. Right, I will Up say- to the whole vehicle. Right, I mean, it's almost yeah. kind of like you could wrap the vehicle if you wanted to. I mean, some of the applications that I've used for customers on trucks, we've we've protected the top bed rails um, on the truck yeah. without having to install like a bed rail kit or a cap kit. We've done tailgates with it. You know, we want to load and unload and not have that damage. Um, but more and more lately, for some of our outdoor adventure customers, whether they're canoers or kayakers or they're mountain bikers, we're finding applications of the protection film on the roof and also on the lift gate so that when you're driving with your mountain bike, your tire's not rubbing and causing damage there. So Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, even beyond automotive, I mean, power sports, marine, anything that's really painted and is moving can use the product. Well, so if I'm kind of a consumer and I've got maybe my, my boat, uh, my jet skis, anything that's got a painted surface, I can protect that from wear and tear. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, that's great. Well, how simple is this to install? So, Well, typically, you know, you want to you consult a professional when possible if you're going to go big. When you go small, it is more of a DIY friendly product. Uh, it's a wet application, so we will apply some of our slip solution to install solutions. And then we would simply, with our pressure sensitive adhesives, we're going to speed you out that liquid, and that's going to buy us time to allow us to position the film where we would like it to be before we get it to a gear. And once it's down, yeah. It down. Once it's down, it's, it's smooth. You don't lose any of your color. So I, a lot of people, when we talk about paint protection film, they wonder, when that's on there, is that going to affect the depth of my color or change a little bit of the way it looks and reacts to the light? But really, once it's down, you don't even know it's there. Really, you know, I, I, it's an unofficial slogan, but outside of an eight-foot radius, it's really hard to ever tell the product's going to be. And that's the beauty of it. You never lose the aesthetics of why you originally fell in love with what you purchased. Right. It's got so, so many applications. Like I said, we've used it from everything from from customer cars on their roofs, on their rear bumpers to protect them. Yeah. I've had some fishermen come in, some of these new boats that have, you know, a lot of these painted bumper caps, which we were like, when they did that, we were like, what are you guys doing? You know, we tow with these things we work. But we've been able to wrap those bumpers and protect the rear for the guys that are fishing every day and they won't have any damage yep. now from, uh, from driving around. So if shops want to learn some information about having the product as maybe an additional line of revenue or a consumer wants to know some more information about maybe doing that home DIY hood installation, where should they go? They should go to 3M.com forward slash paint protection film. That's great. You can learn a lot about the product. Well, go to the website and check it out. I highly recommend it. It's a great upsell to your existing line of business. And if you are the customizer out there and you've got a car that you want to build for a customer, but you also want to let it be road ready, this is a great addition when you're done to add it on top of that finish that you've worked so hard for. So be sure to go to the 3M website, learn some more. And if you have any questions, you can always reach me on Collision Hub. Thanks.